This week's word of the week is going to be uh, cold lap. The reason I chose cold lap was because we did a uh, we were doing a robotic application on an outside corner joint, and we got the weld defect known as cold lap. Uh, actually, it's not really called cold lap. This is something that we're going to try and clear up some slang terms, so we're going to cross this right out. And right over here, overlap. That is the correct term. Cold lap is uh, one of the many slang terms the welding industry has. Uh, this is a kind of a drawing of a, a fillet, uh, fillet weld on a T-joint here. And this is what they're referring to when they say cold lap, which is actually called overlap. Uh, you can see it's uh, when the weld kind of rolls over down on the bottom plate and you don't quite have a, it fused down here. It's a very dangerous defect. Uh, what we'll do is we'll look at the code book real quick here and show you the exact definition of uh, overlap here. This is the fabrication section of the D11 Structural Steel Welding Code and you can see right there 5.26.1.1 overlap excessive convexity or excessive reinforcement and it shall be removed. That's the exact definition in the code book for uh, overlap. So we'll get back up here to the board and keep going. So let's take a look here kind of at what uh, slang terms are. Um, cold lap is uh, used all the time in the welding industry. Uh, the correct term, overlap. So why would this be important to know what cold lap is if overlap is the correct term? Uh, if you're taking an AWS, like a CWI exam, Certified Welding Inspector Test, um, they will put the slang terms for choices to the questions. So you need to know the proper term, not just the slang terms. The other reason it's important to know the slang terms is because they're used a lot in the welding industry. If you don't know what cold lap is, uh, and somebody um, asks you, what's the defect in this, and it's cold lap, and you don't know what it is, you're going to look foolish. Uh, people use cold lap all the time. Some people say you shouldn't go over slang terms. So the uh, slang term that I like to refer to uh, when I'm talking to people about slang terms is MIG. It's a slang term. It's an improper term. The correct term is gas metal arc welding. Well, you better believe, you better know what MIG welding is. Uh, everybody refers to MIG welding as MIG. It is a slang term. It's gas metal arc welding. So if you're thinking that slang terms aren't important, just think of it in that sense, stick welding. That's an improper term. It's shielded metal arc welding. So it's very important that you know these slang terms. Now, if you're taking an AWS test, like a CWI exam, and they said, name that defect, and this was the picture they gave you, what they're going to do is give you choices. And the first one is going to be the slang term, cold lap, because you're timed during these tests. So what you're going to do is you're going to see, cold, you're going to see this, and you're going to go, that's cold lap. And then you're going to go, circle A, and move on. If you read the other choices, lack of penetration, undercut, or overlap, they put the correct term way down here It's because they want you to pick the first one you see. When you pick this, wrong. You just missed that question. You read them down, it's actually overlap. That's why it's important to know these slang terms. And it's also important because people are going to refer to overlap as cold lap, and you need to know what they're talking about. Tons of slang terms. So uh, that's why we chose this uh, word of the week to be cold lap, which is, which is actually overlap. Um, what we'll do now is we'll go out and uh, where we had the robot uh, screw up and uh, basically what we, we did is we did one joint, came out good, the next joint wasn't quite where it needed to be, so there was a little bit of fit up issue and we got some overlap. So we'll go out to the lab and we'll look at that uh, robotic application where we got some overlap. Alright, this is the uh, part of the robot that was good. And you can see we, we zoom in here and it's a outside corner joint came in pretty nice. That was the first side we did. Now what we'll do is we'll show you the side that kind of uh, had some bad fit up. So we'll check that out here. And you can see in the beginning of this it was all right. And then the there must have been some bad fit up here because then you can see we got some overlap there or cold lap whatever you want to call it you are talking slang terms so we'll try and zoom in here get a little closer
you can see it was hit or miss on this one but that's that's overlap right there it's rolled over you have no idea if it's fused it's fairly dangerous and this is the uh, part in the beginning where the the joint lined right up that's all we got for this week thanks for watching and subscribing to TV well we'll see you next week